Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to be doing an activity, and this is a two-point perspective activity for drawing birdhouses. This is one of those things that I saw on Pinterest. I cannot find out who did these birdhouses, but it is such a good idea for practicing and learning one-point perspective. So what we're going to do is put a line across the middle of our page. This will be our horizon line, so parallel with our eyes, our line of sight. And we're going to be doing something a little bit different in this one. We're going to be drawing in two-point perspective and one-point perspective because I get a lot of questions if you can draw in one-point perspective, if the same drawing can have one-point perspective and two-point perspective. So I just wanted to show you how it definitely can. And we're going to put this one-point perspective point right in the middle of our horizon line. And then we're still going to add the two vanishing points right on the side of our horizon line. I'm just gonna circle it. I don't know how well you can see my pencil. Oh, also, you do need a paper, pencil, and a ruler for this exercise. <laughs> Sorry, I really kinda got into that. All right, this is going to be just like it was when we were drawing the cubes. So we're going to be drawing, let's just draw three different birdhouses. So we're gonna draw one above the horizon line, one on the horizon line, and one below the horizon line. And these birdhouses are going to have a steeped roof, and I think that's a really good practice for two-point perspective. So remember, we're just drawing the corner on two-point perspective, but in one-point perspective, we can actually see the front of the birdhouse. So I'm going to add the one-point perspective houses right now. So we're just going to draw the shape of it. Here's the box of the birdhouse, and they can totally be different sizes, big and small and round. There's a lot of different kinds of birdhouses, and maybe this one just has one hole right in the middle, and then, then you have like the little stand for the birds, and it's dark inside. But we wanna add a roof, so let's just add that triangle, and to find the middle of the triangle, you can just draw a line straight up through the bottom, like make an X, draw a line straight. Let's actually zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about. So here is the roof of our birdhouse, and let's go ahead and draw it back into our vanishing point. And you can use your ruler if you want, I'm just gonna eyeball this one. Here's the side of our birdhouse, here's that side, and then we can see a little bit, we're gonna just draw a little bit of that roof on this side. And then we're going to draw the stick that this is on. And this is not on a round stick, this is going to be on a stick, you can actually see the side of it. And don't draw it all the way down because we'll add some grass in here. And now let's go ahead and draw this one over here. This is a different looking birdhouse. I'm just gonna, this one actually has two holes for birds to come into. With some little sticks under, and then I'm going to draw the roof. And to find the, the center, just draw an X, then draw a line up through. And I'm gonna add another hole for the birdhouse up here. You can thicken up those lines too, because it wouldn't be that thin there. And then let's draw our lines back to our vanishing point, draw the side. So this is a quick one point perspective, um, what is it called, review. <laughs> the roof pitch line would go there, and then remember, just make this line parallel with this line. Just like that house we drew. And then remember it's on a stick. And we can see this side of it. I'm just adding a little bit of shading. All right, now let's draw some birdhouses in here. So go ahead and get your pencil, and I shouldn't have added so many details because I think you should probably go over a drawing like this in marker, but that's okay. And these are a little tilted, but that's all right. So let's draw our birdhouse that's going to be above our vanishing point. And remember, instead of drawing the front, now we are going to be drawing the side. So we're gonna draw this front side of this one. And remember, with two point perspective, we bring the right side to the right vanishing point, the left side to the left vanishing point figure out how big we want this birdhouse to be. 
And which side's going to be the front? And then the bottom right hand we bring to the left side, the bottom left side we bring to the right side. So remember we can see the bottom of it and we start with just that corner. And now we need to kind of design it. Like what does this look like? Also, where is this piece of wood going to hit it in the center? So here's the stick that it's going to be on. We can see the front and the side. I guess we kind of start with that corner. Probably shouldn't get bigger as it goes down. Maybe this is a warped piece of wood. And let's just say that the front of this house is on this side. So we're gonna bring a line straight up through. That's how you find the middle of the pitch or this like triangle on top. And since this kind of comes down to the side, we can't really see the top of that, but we can see part of the bottom of the roof. And so maybe this one just has, let's see, this one has one hole where they can come in. And this would actually, this would come to this point right here, so. All right, now let's go ahead, we've drawn one above. Now let's draw one in two point perspective that's actually on our horizon line. So I'm just drawing them in the direction of that vanishing point. And then let's put the front of this one can be on this side, why not? The top of the roof we bring back to that left side, then we draw the roof keeping these two lines parallel. And then we can figure out what we want this one to look like. Maybe there's like, maybe this one's square, who knows? but this square would probably, would have to line up with our vanishing points and there's shutters on it. This is a little bit more decorative. Birdhouse, and then don't forget we need to draw the stick that it's on. And now we're going to draw one that's below the horizon line. I feel like there should be something up here just to make this look a little bit more balanced, but. That's okay, we'll just draw one right here. So this one is going to be below the horizon line. So we're just going to draw the edge. And then maybe I'll bring this one kind of, we'll see. We'll bring this one in front of this one, why not? We're going to make this so the front is on this side. So I'm gonna draw an X and draw a line through the middle of the X. That's where the top of my triangle part of the roof is going to be. And then a line to that right vanishing point. And then I will draw the roof. And just figure out where this hole needs to be. And then draw the the stick that this would be standing on. Okay, so we've drawn our five birdhouses. So these are in one point perspective and these are in two point perspective. And now what I would do, and it looks like they did it in this example that I'm looking at that I found online, is they've just drawn some grass down at the bottom that these are kind of all in. So before we do that, I'm gonna try to find, I don't have all of my pens out right now. So I'm gonna walk over and find them really quickly. And we're gonna go over these lines in a little bit of a thicker marker. It's just to thicken, them up, thicken it up a little bit and then we'll erase these pencil lines and see what it looks like. Oh, great, I have a really good one. Okay, so now is the time to just kind of refine it. Straighten up your lines if you want to. Add some details, decorations if you want, and then you can add some shading to it. What I like to do is just outline the basic shapes and then I'll put in some shading. So 
So I normally don't like to speed these up just because it takes me more time to edit. <laughs> but maybe I will for the sake of this one, just so it's not like so long of just me rambling on. The nice thing is, is there's not like a wrong or a right way to do this because these don't exist. <laughs> there is a really cool picture of this technique though that you can find online. And if you find out who had this idea, please, please, please let me know because it's a great idea and I would love to give them credit. But I just kind of ran into that Pinterest circle of like no source for this one. And feel free to use your ruler more. Mine looks a just a little bit more loose and hand-drawn. And then I'll, I'll show you some ideas for drawing the grass that's underneath. What I really wanted to do with Two Point Perspective was to try to design a playhouse, because we've kind of been working on something like that, and like how you would use this in real life, this technique, to plan and design things. All right, so now I have most of these lines in. Let's see if I'm just gonna grab my ruler and erase the lines we used to draw this with. And when I say ruler, I mean eraser. Now I know what this is called. <laughs> Maybe. You don't need to get rid of all of the lines you used to draw with, but I just wanna see what these look like. It's just really fun for me to erase. And be careful when you're erasing. If you're not careful, that will happen. That's bad. Can you tell where my light is coming from? <laughs> my window. Um, that's okay. So just erase those lines. By the way, if this does ever happen to you with some of your drawings, you can try to iron it out, but it is hard. Just be more gentle than I am. And then you can take your pen or your pencil and you can go ahead and I'm just going to use some um, hatching lines to make shadows on these. That just means I'm just drawing some lines straight up and down to fill this in because it takes a lot of time to make it really dark. And then what we need to decide is where is the light coming from? Also, do you see how these all fit together? Oh, and you'll see if you forget any lines. You can kind of see how um, one point perspective can fit together with two point perspective. Hopefully that's helpful. And let's figure out which direction the light's coming from. Uh, let's just say it's coming from this right side or maybe this left side. Yeah, let's say it's coming from the left side. So the roofs, I'm just going to add some. They're dark anyway. Okay, and now if the light is coming from this side, we definitely are going to see some shading on the bottom of these. And then we're going to see some shading on the sides of these and even on the front of this one. I'm just putting lines further apart from each other. And this one. Okay, so now we have our houses. We've done some hatching on these bird houses. I'm so sad about that. Please don't let it deter you. <laughs> and now let's just figure out how to draw some um, grasses and some, some, something to kind of ground these in. You can draw this however you would like. You can draw some flowers in there, some butterflies. I'm just going to draw some tall. These remind me of sea. This reminds me of seagrass, but maybe these are weeds. Maybe they are iris leaves. Who knows? It almost looks like fire or fur. <laughs> I might add some little ones in front. Yes, this is just completely scribbling. That's okay.
And then let's add some shading to um, some of the tops of the sticks that these are on. So since the light's coming from the right side, I'm gonna add shading to the right side of the, the stick that the birdhouse is on. There we go, now we have our bird houses. Now, this should probably be a little bit more centered, you know, like right here, but that's okay. <laughs> it's, you know, these aren't perfect bird houses, but it is a great practice. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. Um, now what I would do is, using this technique, um, go ahead and try to design your own um, bird house or tree house, something like that using two point perspective, maybe even like your your dream home, you know, like something or even somewhere that you've been since a lot of us really have wanderlust right now, at least I do, maybe you could draw a place that you've been, you know, how you remember it in your head. Um, there's also this book that I read to my kids called Maybe and it has some really cool illustrations and one of them has these cool houses that are stacked totally in two point perspective, at least from what I remember. So anyway, you can check that out too. But thank you for drawing with me. Today, um, I hope you enjoyed this and it helped you understand two-point perspective and one-point perspective a little bit better. So just remember these ones we brought out to these points and then these two we brought into a center vanishing point. So have a great day. Thank you so much for drawing with me. And again, sorry about this situation. Just be careful when you draw and it won't happen to you.